Nobody is talking about Power Trip and it, it just trips me out because it's one of the most iconic lineups. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. So the venue that's hosting this event is the Empire Polo Field, the same venue that hosts Coachella and Stagecoach. It's the best music venue in the world. So I'm just gonna give you guys some tips and some mistakes that you can't afford to make if you're going to power trip. Number one is you need to wear comfortable shoes. There's gonna be a ton of walking, but if you're doing day parking and the majority of the people that go to these festivals do day parking, now day parking is free if you're if you're thinking about paying, no, you don't have to pay. But if you are going to the festival, it's gonna take you maybe half a mile or a mile to get to the front entrance to the security checkpoints and then from there to walk up to the actual stage where they're going to be performing is going to take you another half a mile last year at coachella i was averaging 10 miles per day now coachella is a longer festival it's 12 hours and it has like seven different stages this one only has one stage but they are still going to be those long distances and when you leave the festival, getting in the mosh pits or doing whatever you got to do, you got to walk back another mile, a mile and a half back to your car. So it's going to be a lot of walking. So you got to have comfortable shoes. It is the most crucial because if you're uncomfortable, you start getting blisters. Day two and day three, they're just going to suck. This is rule number what for Coachella? What? Staying hydrated. Oh, hell yeah. Oh. Number two is you need to stay hydrated. I know you're going to be drinking and you're going to be partying and you're going to do, doing whatever you got to do. But overall, you're going to be around a lot of people. You're going to be jumping and dancing. You're going to get that summer heat and your body is going to dehydrate. And again, yes, have a good time. But also remember to drink water because if your head starts hurting, you're not going to be able to enjoy the music. And this happens a lot. I've seen people like as soon as the festival starts, they're already hammered before the festival begins. And like an hour later, they end up in the emergency tent because they're throwing up they're passing out like it happens so often you could buy water inside the festival i don't like to carry that like once you're in the festival you just have to put it in your pocket you have to put it on the floor it's kind of annoying so having a backpack where you could refill at the free refill water stations you actually could save a lot of money this way as well you don't have to buy anything inside like you just go in there refill your water at the refill water stations and, and the they say they're gonna have different ones around the festival there's uh, usually one where the restrooms are. There's usually a water refill station. We don't have the final map layout of this festival, which is coming in the next couple of weeks. Once we know the layout of the festival, I will be making more videos explaining and going over the, the layout with you guys. So just a, a, a water camel pack is such a convenience. You always have water with you. You could also store your phone, your wallet. Such a simple thing, but it's, it just makes the biggest difference. I just can't stress this enough. The next thing is you need to arrive to the festival as soon as you can. Friday, when the festival begins, the doors open at 3 for day parking or whatever. Get to the festival as fast as possible because if you try to get to the festival when the lineup, when the artists are gonna start, again, it takes maybe 30 minutes, 40 minutes to get inside the festival by the time you go through all the checkpoints, by the time you park your car, all the traffic. Um, I don't know how it's gonna be for this festival because it is less people. This one is expecting around 80,000, I think. Uh, I'm not sure if it's 60 or 80,000. During Coachella weekend two on Sunday, it took me, I think, like three hours to get into the festival because there was so much traffic. The event is gonna end like around 12 because that's the sound curfew of the city of Indio. The festival opens at three. So what time are the artists gonna perform? I'm thinking the first artist is gonna be well, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. or 7 to 9 and then like an hour break and then what 10 to 12. I don't know how they're going to be doing the sets. I don't know how long the sets are going to be. I'm guessing about two hours per artist, about four hours of music per day. Uh, let me know in the comments what do you guys think the set times are going to look like. If the doors open at 3 and the first artist goes on at 7. Like what are people going to do for four hours in the middle of the sun? Just drink, I guess. We'll see once the set times drop. I'm interested to see what's going to happen. When it comes to festivals and events happening at this venue because it it is um, a lot of people the number one thing once you walk in buy your merch as soon as you possibly can because you get it out of the way go in there get your merch you have a backpack put the back the merch in the backpack or wear the merch if you end up renting a locker there's still lockers available on the power trip website you can also download the app you can reserve a locker different sizes it's going to be 90 maybe 100 degrees outside but once the sunset actually hits and you get the desert breeze we might start getting a little bit cold towards the end of the night and if you have a locker it's going to save you a lot of time so you don't have to walk back to your car, walk back to your campsite. You could put your stuff in the locker. You could have different pairs of shoes so you could switch shoes, a different outfit, sweaters. Uh, there's people that use the lockers for all kinds of things. You could go with friends and share the locker. So that's also available on the website um, and also download the app. So you need to download the app in order to register your wristband. So they're going to post the 
the lineup, the set times, the maps, the FAQs, everything is on this app, Power Trip. Another tip is once you enter the festival, make sure you know where you park your car. This is so crucial because this happened. So many people get lost because you don't know where you park. Like drop a pin, pay attention, take a picture of the parking lot, take a picture where you are and follow the paths because sometimes people don't remember where they park. And after leaving the festival, once it's like 12, you're tired, you're dehydrated, you just want to go home and it's going to take you another hour and a half to find your car. That is the most annoying thing. So make sure you know where you park your car, especially if you are coming with people and maybe some people have different passes like because this festival is going to have different tiers. There's people going to be in the pit. There's people going to be in the grandstands in the seating area. There's people going to be in the general admission or in the, the middle admission. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. Once you go in with your friend group, make sure you guys have a rendezvous point. You guys know where to meet after the festival is over because you're not going to be stressed about trying to find your friend losing your friends and you don't even know where you are like it's it's frustrating for the person that gets lost it's frustrating for yourself looking for the people that you lost like it's it just sucks so make sure you guys know once the festival ends we're going to meet at this specific location Any, anybody you want to shout out anyone want to shout angel chavez of course 100 100 percent the goat there's always a ferris wheel or a big indio sign as soon as you enter the festival there's like a giant indio sign and i always tell when i when we leave coachella it's like meet right there at the ferris wheel so we wait for a group once everyone shows up after everyone did their thing then we all go back into the car so make sure you guys know where to meet after the festival and it's okay to split up let me know in the comments where you're coming from I'm actually curious i have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of europeans coming to this festival i feel like a lot of east coast people are gonna be coming to this festival let me know in the comments if you're going to power trip let me know where you're coming from there's medical tents if you feel like you took something or you're going too hard or whatever whatever happens whatever you end up doing before or inside the festival make sure you go to the medical tent it's a judgment free zone they're not going to ask you questions they just want to make sure that you feel good they're going to make sure that you feel better so make sure you take advantage of these medical tents common things to take is like hand wipes hand sanitizer a portable charger you need to call somebody have a portable charger in your backpack Seven, cell phone signal sometimes once is like the peak hours once is like the most amount of people are there i feel like people are going to be there for the first artist like there's only two artists to watch but your phone is going to be running a little bit slower and this is done on purpose because only people that have the best signal in the festival are the festival organizers and the police the safety and security because they're the ones that need to communicate so they actually lowered the bandwidth of all the cell phones inside the festival if you try to text your friend make sure you text them with the time so it'll be like 707 hey i'm over here trying to get some merch and that way when they receive the text they know what time you sent that text and they're not thinking you just sent that text but it's actually delayed by like 20 minutes put timestamps on your text messages like again it's a once in a lifetime opportunity to watch these artists and maybe for the last time i've personally seen acdc and i seen metallica at the big four festival in the same polo field back in 2011. back then the ticket was a hundred dollars for the big four which is compared to now it's pretty pretty insane and i'll see you guys at power trip